And this is our home base, the Alliance for Inclusive Heathenry booth, which is heavily uh, sponsored by the Troth, and also through the community funding of the GoFundMe, which we appreciate everybody having help with. Um, I, he, this is David Carlson, his daughter Sonia, and this is Angela Carlson. Um, and Angela, can you tell me a little bit about the booth? Well, we came here today to um, be in in the conversation and interface and beyond and stand in solidarity with the peoples of the earth who are here in their sacred space and to answer any questions and dispel any myths about um, heathenry and um, our place in the world. Great. Now, has it been busy here? It's been incredibly busy compared to what we were expecting and um, there's been a lot of interaction with people and um, there's been some um, communication about the word heathenry, what it actually means, as opposed to it being used as a pejorative or as a joke. And um, we've kind of made a lot of light bulbs go off, so I thought it was very nice to be able to make that. I seem to recall people actually coming up and just loving the name. Yes. Just because uh, some of them are actually thinking that we were like atheists here with the representation of the Parliament of Religions. but. Um, but I think that you corrected them pretty swiftly with yeah. that, and they were actually even more impressed when it was all said and done. Am I correct? In I think so. I think it's also one of those things where I, uh, there was a couple of ladies that came uh, yesterday, I believe, and uh, were talking about, um, oh, well, that's kind of what we use. And I said, well, you have, maybe you might want to think about when you use words and, and the power of words and, and that you're, t you're putting some other tradition down rather than um, using just its... You know, just, and so they were like, hmm, I might have to, I might have to think of something else. Made them think, so we've, we've done our job. All right, great. Thank you very much.